Hello, everyone. Sports Princess here. Oh, boy. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> My heart is a little hurt right now. <laughs> but, um, first of all, I want to say congratulations to Alexa Grazo. She won fair and square, and, uh, yeah. Um, but this video is for the Valentina Shevchenko fans who are in their feels right now, as I am. <laughs> but, um, guys, um, it's unfortunate that Valentina lost, you know, but you know what? You can't win them all. It happens. Some of the, be the best fighters in the world have lost. Amanda Nunes has lost before. Uh, Demetrius Johnson has lost. Chris Cyborg has lost. Um, I'm trying to think. Joanna Janjacek has lost. Tyron Woodley's lost. Kamaro Usman has lost. George St. Pierre has lost. Anderson Silva has lost. These are the best fighters of all time who have lost. And it's just part of the fight game. Valentina is no different. And guys, I don't, people seem to think that Valentina has this attitude that she thinks she's invincible. Valentina's never felt like she was unbeatable. Um, you know, um, but what's next for Valentina? Now, guys, Valentina, you know, is father time starting to catch up to her? It's, it's very possible, you know. Um, you know, Valentina... She's going to be 35 in a couple of days. This woman has been in, I don't know, over 500 fights. She's been fighting for 30 years. And guys, that's a long, long time. That's a lot on the body. And after a while, it starts to, starts to uh, not like it anymore. And guys, you know... Like, Ronda Rousey, that's another one that is lost. You guys, we can't, I don't think that, I think the reason people are giving Valentina a lot of shit now is because they had this um, idea that, you know, pe people thought that she was invincible. I will, like, but here's the thing, though. Valentina had already proved that she's not invincible. She was beaten by Amanda twice before. So where people got this idea? I mean, Valentina said it herself in the Octagon interview. You know, she said this is the fight game and she said she made a mistake. You know, it happens. Valentina was like, Valentina was never invincible. Just like, like I said, some of the greatest fighters of all time have lost. John Jones's day is coming. It's not coming yet, but it's coming one day. John Jones's day is coming. John Jones's day is coming. I mean, look at Ben Askren. The guy went 18 and 0 or 19 and 0 until he suffered his first loss. I mean, it's coming. It, it, it's coming, you guys. John Jones's day is coming. It's, you know, like no no fighter is invincible. It's you know, do I think Valentina deserves a rematch? Absolutely, 100%. I think she deserves a rematch. Um, Alexa Grazo even said she's willing to give her a rematch. But, you know, part of me 
kind of telling me, you know what? I think Valentina, time's catching up to her. I think she should retire. Maybe retire? I mean, she's accomplished more than, than any of the uh, uh, female fighters out there. So, I mean, I don't know, guys. It's, uh, we'll see. Um, but guys, you know, like I said, I just wanted to send this message out, you know. It's the fight game that happens. It doesn't mean that Valentina's not a great fighter or anything like that. Just, she's, just, you know, she just reached her point and lost, you know. Same with Amanda Nunes. Amanda, time's catching up to Amanda. It happens, you guys. Um, you know, I, I still think that Valentina deserves a lot of respect. And um, yeah. But guys, you know, I just, I wanted to make this video saying that a lot of, that some of the best fighters in the world have, have lost, have losses. And we can't look at Valentina any differently than the best fighters who have lost. You know, Valentina, like I said, she's been in the fight game for 30 years. She's had over 500 fights, Muay Thai, kickboxing. She's been fighting. She had her first professional fight when she was 15 years old. And she's, and this is almost 20 years ago now. That's a long time, you guys. That's a lot on the body. You know, so, um, yeah, I, I got nothing but love for Valentina. Um, congratulations to Alexa Grazo. And can I just say, Alexa Grazo is definitely, if, Somebody had to beat Valentina. I'm glad that it was somebody like Alexa Grazo. Because Alexa Grazo, one of the reasons I'm glad is to, that for, you know, if it's not Valentina, to have her as a champion is, is great. She's a great role model. And I think that, um, I think that uh, her character is phenomenal. Like, I, you know, I like when we have a champion that is respectful and has good character. You know, I, you know, like, she's not a Ioana and Jacek, and that's what I like. I don't want to see a champion that's a bitch and a dick, you know, like, like Ioana and Jacek was. Ioana and Jacek showed absolutely zero respect for any of her opponents that she fought. So, um... But yeah, guys, I mean, this, it happens. And guys, Va Valentina had a good run. Seven title defenses, guys. That's the most of any female fighter. That's the most of any female fighter. That's longer than Amanda Nunes, guys. She's defend, Valentina successfully defended her belt seven times more than any female. So uh, we, so yes, even though she lost, Valentina is still technically the GOAT. She's still the GOAT. She's still the GOAT, guys. Even after Amanda lost, Amanda was still the goat. She's still the goat. So, um, yeah, guys, all you Valentina Shevchenko fans out there, don't get down on yourselves. This is just, this is just the way it happens. It's life. You know, everyone loses. Everyone has... Their day is coming when they're going to lose. So um, don't beat yourself up. And uh, yeah, guys, it's, it's, just, it's just a fight, you know. And Valentina has always been human. 
We can't ever say that she was never human. She lost the fight. It happens. So, uh, but yeah, congratulations to Alexa Grazo and congrats to Valentina for seven consecutive title defenses and for being the GOAT that she is.